Okay, so, okay, okay. I, I don't know if this is, like, a side channel for Foodie Beauty. I don't think so. Um, not food, no, I'm sorry, um, French Fried Girl, right? Because this is apparently the channel that dug up some publicly posted family photos of um, Chantel's aunt's family like putting up a Christmas tree or something like that, right? And yeah, that's not cool, eyelash. Like you, you can't, you shouldn't be digging on her, her family's social even if they're posting it publicly like they obviously did not intend it to go in front of like millions of eyes right so not cool but anyway this is a five minute video that was just posted this morning i'd like to see what we're talking about here because basically the eyelash channel is um accusing Chantel of um, basically fleeing Kuwait and um, for as how dishonest she's been about her weigh-ins um, about what's going on with the blood sugar monitor because like the date's always wrong um, so she's clearly fucking with that device too who knows what the hell the truth is here right um so is she right i don't know i don't know let's see what what uh eyelash has to say here hello um so i had a mishap i don't know what it is i just have this worry that i just won't be able to be the woman sala needs and he'll need like five other wives like i always have this nightmare what like is that's a real thing for you that you're afraid he's a polygamist you didn't think about like exploring that conversation before you married him that never came up how quick did this marriage happen by the way because i'm kind of new to the whole um girl wor world um because I was really watching more political stuff and I'm kind of taking a break from that right now and um, because it's gotten kind of boring like there's not much I can do at the national level right now because I'm injured and you know I'm on medical leave and stuff like that and I don't really have to worry about like who's going to be selected as the, the nominee because it's clearly going to be Biden right? And unfortunately, the GOP, they have to take their lumps and realize that it's probably going to be Trump, even if he's behind bars while they do it, right? So, um, so that's, I mean, other than like local races, like I went to a Dave Min event, he's running for Congress in the district right next door to me. I've, you know but I can't get out much because it's, it's really hard for me to navigate stairs. So I'm trying to understand though, that w why would she be concerned that he wants five wives? Like I have never gone into a relationship with somebody and been like, well, this guy probably wants five wives. <laughs> I have definitely had situations where trust was broken and I was cheated on and shit like that. And then I got out of the relationship because obviously I, 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 I'm monogamous myself. So like, um, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm being cheated on. Um, but I'm a little confused how you could even end up having that fear without having 
some pretty deep conversations with your partner before you actually tie the knot, you know? Where's our eyelash in my cottage cheese? Right, this is educational purposes. If you watched my last video all the way to the end. Don't, don't troll um, the subjects of the video. Don't troll in the comments. You know, be nice to everybody. Spread love and all that jazz. And you know that I said I would be Foodie Beauty's biggest cheerleader if she came back to Canada and worked hard on recovering from her food addictions. Okay, this totally does not sound anything like French Fried Girl. So, I don't know why um, her little outburst last weekend on commute i guess i guess it's called community posts um which she's apparently deleted all of it at this point but it, it's the internet's forever so there's tons of screenshots of this i don't know why she went from being mad about these pictures being shared by this channel who um unless they're using ai doesn't sound anything like French Fried Girl. And then she immediately transitioned into attacking who she considers to be her arch nemesis, which is French Fried Girl, right? And she doxed her. She doxed her. You feel good about that, Shanta? You doxed her? And got her health back together. Well, I have put my pom-poms away because the reason that Chantal is back in Canada, in my opinion, has nothing to do with her health. You know, something about the health arc never made sense to me. Chantal is really critical of Canadian health care and speaks very highly of Kuwaiti health care. Yeah. So why would she come back? And I'm running into a wall because uh, the wait time, I called around. For most family doctors, it's like two to three years. Uh -oh. Why would she go back to Canada when she would have to wait that long to even get into a general practitioner? She wouldn't. She would have to come back for some other compelling reason, and I think I found it. An article that just came out yesterday in the Arab Times describes the stricter new penalties for expats who violate residency laws in Kuwait. Uh -oh. Look. It's just, I don't know how long it's going to take me, and that's why I'm here indefinitely for now. The article describes the new residency law, which seeks to increase the penalty imposed on foreigners visiting Kuwait and remaining there in violation of residency. I keep my citizenship status and all that stuff private because I don't like to give any attention to any information to the internet. So I'm trying to learn, you know. I've learned the hard way, but now I'm... I'm you don't give any information to the internet. You're literally broadcasting your life on the internet. Okay. All right. Okay. Pretty more. I, I'm more wise. We know that when Chantal stumbles over her words like that, it's because mm. she's lying. Which is not a surprise, considering this article says that there is a penalty now that includes imprisonment for a period oh. of one year and a fine ranging between 1,000 and 2,000 KDs for violating this law. It also says that the duration of the visits has been extended to three months rather than one. I thought it had been three the whole time. I'm sure in the coming days we'll find out more about the details of this law and the duration of visits, what they used to be, what they are now. So. I'm just going to need to be here for a while. The article goes on to say the new law stipulates that expats that enter Kuwait with the intention of visiting may remain for a period not exceeding three months. So maybe they mean that there is a one month visiting visa that can be extended two more times, but that they must leave once that expires. Wow. This is why Chantal will never admit that she is in Canada for any other reason besides health care because to admit that would mean that she would have to admit that she doesn't have residency 
which would just start a domino effect of all the other lies that she's told for the year that she's been in Kuwait. And, uh, yeah, so it doesn't mean I'm not going to ever see Salah. We can visit each other. The last part of this article is maybe the most interesting. A fine of 3,000 KD must be paid if an expat is working for a sponsor other than their own. Remember early when Chantal got to Kuwait, there was all sorts of discussions about whether she had a work visa or not and who that work visa was under. Well, so to wrap I, I this mean, up, I, I've obviously never tried to immigrate anywhere. Um, I don't even have a passport. Like, I've always been in the U.S., but... Um, I'm curious, like, how that works out when you actually, like, marry somebody. Were they both trying to give each other, like, country benefits, right? Um, but apparently they don't extend that to spouses that you do have to have a work visa or maybe even a student visa, but I don't know what kind of colleges they might have in Kuwait, right? That's something that applies to, like, the U.S. and probably Canada and, like, the most of the Western world. Um, that you could um, be on a student visa. But you also might be on a work visa. And, like, for instance, like, Milo um, Yiannopoulos. That was his name, right? That fucking creepy dude who was going around to colleges and talking about pedophilia and stuff um he was here in the US on a work visa and when he lost his job at Breitbart he ended up getting hired by Marjorie Taylor Greene you know for those of you in my audience who vote Republican can you please stop please Please, these are the most disgusting fucking people. And they're the ones out there trying to convince you that Democrats are eating the blood of babies and blah, blah, blah. Right? When they are actually the ones abusing children. Abusing marginalized communities. They're doing all this shit to people. And you're like, yeah, but... They're going to lower my taxes. No, they're not. <laughs> they're going to up the wartime budget. What are you even talking about? They're not going to fucking lower your taxes. It is my speculation that the Canadian health arc is over before it even began. That the reason Chantal rushed back to Canada had nothing to do with diabetes or her health, but more to do with this new residency law for expats. Additionally, I don't think Chantal will ever admit to that, but I think the rages that are coming will be even bigger and more explosive than we were anticipating. Finally, the link to the article is in the description, and most importantly, thanks for watching. Wow. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, eyelash? Okay. I'm going to obviously drop your link because um, I try and do that every time that I cover somebody else's video. Um, but you might, that sounds, that sounds realistic, you know? Um, it, it sounds like a realistic thing. And I, I think you're wrong in the sense that she's not going to address it because she obviously was very triggered by some of the other stuff that you posted by digging up photos of her aunt's house, putting up a Christmas tree, which is a little creepy, by the way. You shouldn't be doing shit like that. But I think um, it's entirely possible. Um, I, I, would, I would say like 95% that she is going to immediately talk about this and deny it. That is my guess. That I, nice work.